Jay Camper. Camper steps up, trying to center it for Spielman. HT lends the captain for Vermont. Robert Policello, very speedy freshman, sets it up ahead to Matt White. Shot, score on the follow. It's the captain, Lenz, and Vermont on the board early. Incredible play with the indirect off, off the wall that created the two-on-one and the perfect pass with Lenz going to the net. Nice pass, tap-in goal. It starts with Policello, and then White is the one who carried it in to put the shot on goal. It's actually a great play with the, with the indirect. Now you see White pick up the puck and Lenz just tap in the rebound. Corrielli almost had an attempt on goal for Hoffman but couldn't reach it. Approaching one minute to play here in the first period. Corrielli in the near corner. Ken Riemsdyk will come in off the blue line to help keep it in. Now downing back to Van Riemsdyk. Tip, block, follow, score! Austin block, scores for the Wildcats to tie the game at one. A critical time of the game, and, and Dan Corrielli created, used a lot of his big body to create some space in the corner to keep that play going. Dickie Millie said he put him up with downing and block for that reason alone. Use his body and create some space for him. Great effort staying with it, getting the puck to the net. Austin Block just staying over the puck and walking a step and throwing it by Brody, who couldn't move laterally with him. Downing in Van Riemsdyk will get the assist on the 12th. His eyes, but he covers so much of the net that he still may stop it. No kidding, no kidding. Van Riemsdyk to Canoto with 50 to go in the five on three. Henry in for Canoto. Gumas. Spielman setting up in front. Shot score! Tipped in front. I think it's Dalton Spielman who will get the goal, and the Wildcats have the lead for the first time tonight. Yeah, I didn't have, I don't think Brody Hoffman had much of a chance on that. He got caught a little bit deep in the net, but the tip uh, was a good one. UNH had good movement. Spielman just set up in front of the net, and he just held his, held his ice. A lot of rotation here. Canoda with the top. Dumas across to Henry and Henry and lets the one timer go, and Spielman gets a piece of it. Here's HT Lenz in. Wildcats carry out. Here's Block with speed. Block carries in all the way in. A goal score! Big time play. What a goal by senior Austin Block, and the Wildcats take a 3 1 lead. Just a fabulous play. UNH doing what they do so well. Stretching the ice, making the making the vertical pass. They like to play vertical whenever they can. Here's the vertical pass. Straight up the ice, gains two zones, and then he makes a little nifty move under the Y of the stick and throws the puck by Brody Hoffman, who has some difficulty moving laterally in that situation. Back to the point, Connor Hardaway. Hardawa steps in, and a sliding play made by Brunito, and a three-on-one here for Vermont. Kostelanski back defensively, Brunito holds, holds, scores! That's how you get back into a game, 3-2 UNH. And this crowd will, will be a factor now that this is a one-goal game. So as well as UNH played in that second period, they've got themselves at the offensive blue line for UNH, and then Bronito did a great job of just holding the puck. Carthy tried to work with Fallon, could not. Now Gumas one-on-one -on -one with Pagliata. We're getting a good look at Gumas and McCarthy going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Van Two Reemsdijk. very good players. Backhand score! Willows, the feed from Van Riemsdyk, and UNH has another power play goal. Their third of the night, 4-2 Wildcats. Van Riemsdyk finding Willow's stick. Right. Nice play, getting the puck up ice. 
just working really hard getting on pucks. Dumas showing so much poise. Nice pass right on the tape. Willow's doing a nice job changing the relationship to the goaltender. All sorts of baseball opportunities and rumors of trades and all that goes with it. I just want the warmth. Here's Pagliato who comes in, blocked in front by Van Riemsdyk, I think, is the one who got the leg down. Now Turk. Turk shot, score! Crowd's right back into it. So are the Catamounts. 4-3 in the third. Well, that was a well-placed shot. Up a glove side. Top shelf. shooting angle and then just shelves it right up in that corner.